Right, this is a quick video on how to make sure you never get spooled by a fish, no matter how big the fish is or how small your reel is. And this, this might seem obvious to some of you, but we've been seeing a lot of posts on, on people getting spooled and, and asking advice on it. So we're gonna make this quick video on, again, how to ensure you never get spooled. The, the reason why this is important is really three things. You don't wanna waste your money letting all your line go out. Uh, also for, for the fish, it's just terrible to have uh, a ton of line dragging behind a fish. And of course, for the environment, it's just never good to have uh, 100 plus yards of line out there in the water for stuff to get tangled in. So uh, for a spinning reel, it's really easy. It doesn't require much, but as soon as you see that the fish you're fighting is just unstoppable or you cannot stop it, simply get on the drag and tighten it. And it's usually clockwise on these spinning reels and it usually drags on top, but turn it clockwise as far as you can possibly go. And, uh, and then as soon as you see that the line, you're, you're about to run out of line, you just grab onto the spool, grab onto it with your hand and make sure to kind of come from, from the bottom so your hand doesn't get uh, hurt in any way, but grab onto it and don't let go. And eventually either the line's gonna break or you're gonna turn the fish. So that's as simple as that. Just grab on the spool, tighten the drag, grab onto the spool and just, I usually point the rod towards the fish. Sometimes it'll turn, otherwise the, the line will break and it'll always break at the knot. All right, so if you're using a bait casting reel, it's the, the same premise where you just tighten the drag down as much as you possibly can, but uh, you can't really grab the spool quite as well on, on this bait caster. So what I do is I usually get both thumbs and it's, it's important to go make sure that your thumbs don't get stuck because that line's gonna be ripping out. Uh, make, make sure that your thumbs don't get damaged or get stuck in there, but grab your thumbs and just push as much pressure on there as possible. Eventually the line will break. And when it does break, it'll always break up at the, at the knot. At the knot, that's usually the, the line to leader knot. That's most often the area that's gonna break. And so you'll get your line back. The fish isn't dragging a ton of line. It's better for the environment. And it's just, again, obviously a simple tip. All right, so again, as you see, the line's going out. You can't stop it and you're almost out of line. Tighten the drag. As my brother says, grip it and rip it and never get spooled. See you on the next video. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wear the line today